वेलकम बैक जेंटलमैन वी आर नॉट फिनिश्ड विद द स्टीयरिंग इयर्स येट एंड आई गेस वी विल नेवर बी इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी सॉ द कॉमन हाइड्रोलिक फंक्शंस व्हिच नीड टू बी अ इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ एवरी स्टीयरिंग गियर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द वेरियस पॉसिबिलिटीज फॉर स्टीयरिंग गियर सर्किट्स यू विल बी एबल टू अप्रिशिएट दैट ऑप्शंस आर प्लेंटी बट यू कैन नॉट डू अवे विद द फंक्शंस द फंक्शंस आर कॉमन फॉर एवरी टाइप ऑफ स्टीयरिंग गियर इट इज आल्सो सजेस्टेड दैट पीपल हु हैव not yet seen the previous video please do so before you proceed with this one this video actually builds up on the learnings from the previous video i am ramesh and you are watching chief in years tea time talk let's move on to the control room and understand this topic in great detail continue watching hope you like it thank you let us have a look at uh, some of the steering gear circuits from various ships you see there are so many possibilities it is impossible to learn only about a particular type and uh, remain satisfied as you do for exams what if your ship has a type which is completely different and uh, conceptually and physically from what you have studied so here we are going to make ourselves aware of the possibilities so that we have a launching pad ready to understand the machinery on any particular ship we will see the major types at a conceptual level the steering gears on more than 70% of the vessels will uh, broadly be covered by what we discuss here again this is only at the component level remember similarly we need to understand the various possibilities of control concepts which will keep it for a later stage because that is a bit tough but that is another task you can see the basic rotary vane steering gear the working and uh, hydraulic functions of which we had dealt with in the previous video you may also note that uh, this direction control valve symbol has been simplified it denotes a solenoid operated pilot operated direction control valve it is the same as this which you recollect we had talked about in length in the previous video you may consider this to be a shortcut symbol for this for the full symbols and working explanation please quickly go through the previous video just in case you are not seen the link of which is available in the description this video actually builds up on the learnings of the previous video now let's start adding variety to the whole steering gear and look at the possibilities i don't want a rotary vane steering gear i love a two ram actuator so now if you recollect the learning from the last video you saw that this check valve these two check valves were giving me the hydraulic lock and these two valves were giving me the shock absorbing function which have gone along with this rotary vane so obviously i need to incorporate those functions into my circuit so here i have my shock absorbing valves in place now as far as the hydraulic lock is concerned since i the hydraulic lock has gone here you can consider this as the hydraulic lock you see the oil returning from here or the oil returning from here correct both of them will be blocked by this direction control valve so it is giving us a hydraulic lock function now this is the very very logical complete working circuit with a 2 ram steering we always had the option of making it 4 ram okay but we'll stick to 2 ram we are just looking at the possibilities I want to now make a steering gear circuit with uh, a variable delivery pump because I'm impressed with that. So let me try and see what I can do with the variable delivery pump. Let's focus on the obvious changes required to incorporate this. We saw that the variable delivery pump is capable of reversing. It can pump oil here, or it can also pump oil from this side if I reverse the direction. So obviously, 
I need to make it as a closed circuit. You see, so far we are happy with the open circuit. Now I have to have a closed circuit. Be circuit because I am going to use a reversible variable delivery pump. Now that I have a variable delivery pump which can reverse, there is no need to have a direction control valve. What was the direction control valve doing? It was actually doing the reversing function. But since the reversing function has come here, why do I need this? I don't need this. But along with this goes the hydraulic lock function. So I have to put another valve which will continue to give me the hydraulic lock function. Here you saw that I have got back my hydraulic lock function, and you can also see one more thing here. I got a unloading function here. It really doesn't matter whether I have a unloading function where my oil is short circuiting or going from this side to this side. or i can keep it blocked also correct i can keep it as both the things blocked example i can have this guys here so that it is blocked because this being a variable delivery pump it can go to zero stroke now we have to think what next how will this valve operate obviously it needs a pilot oil for shifting the spool inside correct okay the solenoid will allow the pilot oil to shift the spool but i need some pilot oil i also need some pilot oil to operate the control piston of the variable delivery pump so to get the pilot oil i can put a pump which i can call it as a pilot oil pump so there i have put a pilot oil pump now this pump is the one which is going to give me the oil here for operating this solenoid like this and also for operating the controls of the variable delivery pump this pilot oil pump has got a very small job to do it just has to shift the spool in this solenoid operated valve and also shift the spool inside the solenoid operated control valve for the variable delivery pump that's all so this pump will continue to work and it will continue to pump what happens once these two fellows have already got shift the flow of oil from the pump will get blocked so obviously the pressure will increase so i have to make an arrangement for a relief valve for this pilot operated pump see i got a relief valve here now now let us go to the next step this variable delivery pump can reverse the direction that means this pump can also put oil here so this will also become a pressure line so obviously i need to have a protection for this line at the moment you see i am protecting only this line right so i'll have to put another relief valve here now this makes some logic this relief valve protects this line and this relief valve will protect this line now let me add a filter here and just in case there are leaks in the circuit obviously you are going to lose the oil from wherever from the ram seals or whatever then i need to compensate for the loss of oil so i am going to make some arrangement for this pump to take suction of course the pump can either work in this direction or in this direction obviously i had to provide a suction line from both sides so that it is capable of taking suction from both sides but at the same time i got a check valve so that this valve will take suction only when the pump is discharging like this and this valve will take suction only when the pump is discharging like this. this circuit is now a functional steering gear circuit with a variable delivery pump and a two ram actuator it is a very rudimentary form of circuit which does exist in some ships in real ships it implies that cooling is done due to the radiation from the storage tanks assisted by steering flat blowers filtering is restricted to the pilot line this is a very basic of the close type we can have more combination possible by playing around with these components this circuit can get morphed into more complex variations with different philosophies for cooling filtering and feed in different equipment makers designs another incremental step to this entire stuff is the concept of a safe matic steering which we will quickly follow up in our future videos Now let us quickly see this pump operate. At the moment, the pump is in zero stroke. 
so now here it is the pump has started discharging to the right hand side so there the oil is going here here we need to shift the solenoid valve as soon as the command has come for activation of the steering gear obviously this solenoid valve will get activated and this valve will take a position to allow this oil to go to the two ramps so let us go back and trace the oil path so here it is is going here passing through going here and then reaching the ram now let us see the return path the oil is returning from here like this like this here you see and going back to the suction of the variable delivery pump now you can imagine what will happen if i want the rudder to go on the other side i just have to operate the pump and then you can see that my pump has now delivering the pump is now delivering oil in the other side it follows the same stuff like this like this now the oil is now going to go here and the return is going to come from here here returning back to the suction on the other side eventually the net effect is that the ram is going and taking the rudder to a new position thanks a lot for watching if you really really like this video please do share subscribe and comment all the best for those who are going for exams and for the sailors a very happy sailing and a happy troubleshooting see you in the next video thank you so much keep watching